Let's explain the execute command. So this is a fill command that we're all familiar with. It's going to summon two diamond blocks, three and four blocks above the command block. Now this is John Cena. Now when we slap an execute in front of it and have three tilders which represent the coordinates that it's standing at and then type in the fill command, this will happen. It will summon the diamond blocks three to four blocks above John Cena. Let's have two now. As you can see, it works for multiple entities as well. However, you can change the parameters of the command very easily so it only works with one. You can see this in more detail on my tutorial on the say command. Now, these John Cena's are special because they are above stone blocks. Let's activate this command right here. As you can see, it only happens for this John Cena standing above the granite because this is called stone one. And as you can see from the command on the screen, it only works for stone one, only if you're above it. So let's modify this command. And we will say stone negative one. As you can see, it works for both stone types, but it doesn't work for any creepers that are not above the stone. If you were confused on how I knew what number each of the stones were, press E and hover over the item. As you can see at the moment, not enough information is given to me. So I'm going to press escape, hold F3 and then press H and you can see the advanced tooltips are going to be shown. We hover over here and the second number tells us what the damage value is and that's important for your detect command. So next episode I'm going to explain how nested execute detects work but for now, if you have any questions please leave a comment in below but for now, thanks everyone for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.